Welcome to 2021. This is a year of special significance uh, because it is the year of the ox on the Japanese calendar. Now, 12 years ago in 2009, uh, which was also the year of the ox, goes in a cycle. Uh, I did a special uh, video series on one of my favorite books and a part of it uh, called the 10 Ox Herding Pictures. And the book is Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, uh, a collection of Zen and pre-Zen writings by Paul Reps and Nyogen Zensaki, published by Tuttle Press. Uh, the book contains a lot of Zen uh, meditation koans, but one of my favorite parts is this part at the end of the book, which introduces the 10 ox herding pictures. Now these were rendered originally in the 12th century by a uh, Chinese priest uh, named uh, Kakuan, and they represent the 10 stages of growth and toward, uh, toward enlightenment, toward discovery of your true self, which is represented by the bull. So the first of these 10 pictures is called In Search of the Bull. Each one contains a poem and an interpretation. I'm going to show you the picture, read the poem, and then give my own interpretation. And I'll do one of these each day for the first 10 days of January uh, 2021 and use this as a metaphorical beginning on our own path to help us uh, towards the process of self-discovery and self-mastery. So the first picture you see is a, a youth uh, traveling uh, alone in search of something, not even sure but in search of the truth, in search of himself. And you see he was traveling here in nature. And the first uh, poem reads, it's called The Search for the Bull. In the pasture of this world, I endlessly push aside the tall grasses in search of the bull. Following unnamed rivers lost upon the interpenetrating paths of distant mountains, my strength failing and my vitality exhausted I cannot find the bull. I only hear the locust churring through the forest at night. Now, this poem contains a lot of rich imagery that perhaps you can relate to. Uh, the first thing that grabs your attention is the tall grasses, which not only obstruct your vision, but also slow down your path and in fact, obscure the path. Now, you may have felt that way more than once uh, in 2020 with the pandemic suddenly throwing up all kinds of barriers in our way that we had not anticipated. And yet we continue forward looking for what are yet unnamed paths. And we know that we must travel through uh, long distances, distant mountains. So the path, the, the, the place we are headed is still far in front of us. And the only hint that we have is what we can hear the sound of locusts churring in the night. Now, the sense of hearing has often been uh, associated with intuition. And so what are, uh, let's revisit the imagery in this poem and think about how you can relate to it. What are the tall grasses in your life? The things that have or continue to obstruct your vision or slow down your path or obscure the path at your feet? What are those things? And given that condition, uh, you might also acknowledge that it's quite fatiguing. You might feel uh, discouraged or um, even some people wanna give up because they don't really know where they're going or where they even are. But we do have one hint. Remember, this is the first of 10 stages along the path. And this is the churring of locusts at night. So again, this is the intuitive hints, perhaps the words that you hear that can inspire you and uh, lead you in the, the proper direction along the path of self-discovery and then ultimately to self-mastery. This is a fascinating uh, set of picture poems. Uh, there are 10 of them all together, which illustrate the various paths towards enlightenment. And I will introduce one each day for the first uh, 10 days of 2021. 
So I look forward to seeing you uh, each day and exploring this path together.